a confirmed tornado on Long Island's North Fork during thunderstorms overnight. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back. I'm Christine Johnson. The National Weather Service says an EF0 hit Mattituck, toppling power lines and hundreds of trees. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan takes a look at all the damage there and across Suffolk County. Oh my God, what happened here? This is crazy. Cindy Pacini and her West Islip community are recovering. Our bedroom was right there, and at 10.30 we heard this whirring sound. It sounded like a jet engine or a train going by for about 15 seconds and an explosion. Rick and Regina Jacobian neighbors plunged into darkness. Power lines toppled in a microburst from the sky. Oh, the wires are live. We had, um, that's the biggest concern, the wire, everything ripped off from the house. From West Islip to Mattituck, violent thunderstorms. Barreled through Suffolk County just before midnight. Like a train was coming through. Then all debris started hitting my window. Started out with pitter patter and then just whoosh. And the lightning and the thunder. Lawns littered with branches. National Weather Service was here on scene. Um, they did a helicopter flyover and some drone footage, you know, as well as boots on the ground assessment and a lot of pictures and video documentation of what the damage is out here, um, you know, in Mattituck. Residents learned it was an isolated tornado on the North Fork EF0. I lived here. 72 years in this house. I've been through a lot of hurricanes. I don't want to go through something like this again. Sheared treetops and debris scattered in a one and a half mile long path, a thousand feet wide, stopping just short of the high school and Main Street. The tiny downtown escaped with no damage, but just blocks away. And I heard this tremendous crash came out. Nancy Burt ran out her front door to see a massive oak careen through her roof, unaware a heavy limb had plunged through her ceiling near where she lay sleeping. My husband passed away like four months ago, and I swear I got this. Get up. So I, I just feel that it's like a sign he's still watching. Emotional and grateful. No one was injured. Detours and road closures in the area as tree and debris cleanup from the frightening storm continues. In Suffolk County, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.